Okay, before we start with the paintbrush to put on our gel plate and uh, area to spray the dot, I'll, I might spray some and then also paint some. But uh, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, fish scale pattern and let you see what it does or how you can do it to these. Yeah, that's uh, pretty dry. Now, like I said, this whole idea is taking uh, epoxied the bottom strip onto the wood and then put the scale pattern in it. What's nice about this in this uniform, I mean, you can take it and just put it on with your hand. You don't have to build anything like this. But once I put this on here and start spraying, I can actually rotate the bait and the scale pattern stays right with it. So I'm going to get a really uniform scale pattern on there and I'm not going to blotch it up. So, we can go back and use the um, the green that I made because remember we made it in the bottle, so we got plenty more. All we could do is just shake it up or stir it back up again. But we'll put some in here and see what it looks like. Then we'll we'll just use a different color. It's more of a blue than a green, but the yellow will help it do something. Um, but you're going to want to spray this light and just get color of the scale pattern. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our bait, we'll set our, uh, our mold on it, and we're not going to go down as far because we're still going to leave that green stripe there. I mean the chartreuse stripe. So as we do this, Rotate it to this side. Okay, just roll that off. You might need to go to the dark color. You can't really see it, but basically that's got the stale pattern on it. I don't know if I can get close enough to the camera so you can see it, but you can actually see the chartreuse coming out through the green. So since that was so bright, what we'll do is we'll actually just go with a uh, little bit darker color. We'll just spray out the brush and then we'll just uh, maybe we'll use some of that baby bass color. It's, it's darker. Okay, I'll clean my brush and put some new paint in it. It just gets real, real dark. Okay, much better. Okay, now when you look at it, you can see a real good skill pattern on it. Um, there's a chartreuse underneath it, and then we have that green up on top. So, I didn't get that one centered well. I was trying to get it done, so.
That's how the scale pattern works. So this paint works real good for that where you can do detailed work. Makes the bait look better, more expensive. And uh, be honest with you, I just have not seen many <laughs> soft plastic baits with a scale pattern built into them. And that's basically them. So let me clean the brush again and we'll get into doing the, um, the stuff with the uh, paintbrush. And then the last thing is to dip them, or put the eyes 